रोज एक सवाल सवाल सॉल्व करने के बाद वो बेल आइकन पे क्लिक कर देना रोज सवाल का नोटिफिकेशन तुम्हें मेल बॉक्स में आ जाएगा ओके लेट स्टार्ट द क्वेश्चन सो द क्वेश्चन सेज दैट पॉइंट ए पी क्यू बी लाई ऑन द सेम लाइन सच दैट पी क्यू बी आर हंड्रेड टू हंड्रेड एंड थ्री हंड्रेड किलोमीटर फ्रॉम ए सो प्रैक्टिकली द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन ईच ऑफ दीज पॉइंट इज सेम विच इज हंड्रेड सो इट इज ए हियर एंड बी हियर एंड P and Q are also given. Now the gap between A and P is also hundred. Between P and Q is also hundred. Between Q and B is also hundred. So that AP is hundred, AQ is two hundred, and AB is three hundred. That's what is given here. Now, car one and two leave A. So car one and car two leave A. At the same time, move towards B, right? Simultaneously, car three leaves B and moves towards A. Now, car three meets car one at Q. Car three meets car one at Q. Now, now if car three meets car one at Q, car one has traversed two hundred kilometers in the time car three has traversed hundred kilometers. So, therefore. If the speed of car three is x, speed of car one will be two x, because in the same amount of time the distance traversed is double. So if time is a constant, distance is directly proportional to speed. So the speed of a is two x, the speed of speed of car one is two x, speed of car three is x. Now, uh, what else do we know? Car three meets car one at Q and car two at P. Now, at P. Car three meets car two, which basically means that the car three travels two hundred kilometers, and car two travels hundred kilometers in the same amount of time. It basically means that speed of car three is double that of car two, which basically means that if we have taken the speed of car three as x, speed of car two must have been x by two, right? I hope this is clear to you. It's a very very simple. application of time speed distance wherein if time is a constant your speed is directly proportional to distance right so the speed of car 2 will be x by 2 now the question is ratio of speed of car 2 to that of car 1 so car 2 is x by 2 and car 1 is 2x so the ratio is 1 is to 4 so the first option is the correct answer option for this case what's the concept here the concept is very very simple speed into time is equal to distance so there are two concepts here one is the direct proportionality and the other is inverse proportionality what's the direct proportionality if if uh, time is a constant speed is directly proportional to distance if speed is a constant time is directly proportional to distance if distance is a constant then speed is inversely proportional to time and time is also inversely proportional to speed so there are two uh, concepts one is direct proportionality when either of s or t is a constant and there is an inverse proportionality when distance is a constant okay i hope you are clear with this concept